All right, guys, so there's been a crazy week in AI news, and I'm here to break down one story that's got everyone talking, OpenEye's strawberry model. Now, the hype around this thing has been insane, with rumors of it being a threat to humanity and all that jazz. OpenEye's dropping their highly anticipated strawberry model way sooner than expected, and it's supposed to be a game changer. But hold on, there's a twist. We'll talk about that later in this video. Is strawberry going to be the biggest thing since ChatGPT? Or is it just another overhyped AI flop? We're about to break it all down, so smash that like button, subscribe, and get ready for the craziest AI reveal you've ever seen. So I've been diving deep into the latest AI news and stumbled upon some juicy details about OpenEye's upcoming strawberry model. Apparently, they're planning to drop this bad boy within the next two weeks, way sooner than anyone expected. The information reports, OpenEye plans to release strawberry as part of its chat GPT service in the next two weeks earlier than the original fall timeline we had recently reported, said two people who have tested out the model. Release timelines are always subject to change, of course, but we have a few other new details about the product. So here's the deal. Strawberry is supposed to be this revolutionary AI model with insane reasoning and planning capabilities. It's designed to think before it acts, you know, take its time to come up with the best possible answer. Sounds cool, right? Well, the thing is, this thinking stage takes around 10 to 20 seconds. Like, imagine asking your AI assistant a question and having to wait almost half a minute for a response. Not exactly ideal, especially when we're all used to instant gratification. But anyways, now some people are saying that the wait might be worth it because Strawberry's answers are apparently slightly better than GPT-40. But let's be real, slightly better doesn't exactly scream game changer, does it? Plus, there are rumors that Strawberry struggles with simple queries and has some memory integration issues. It's also text only for now no image generation capabilities, and to top it all off, it's going to be pricey, with potential rate limits and a higher price tier for faster responses. Honestly, this whole thing doesn't add up. Why would OpenEye release something that's only marginally better than GPT-40, especially after all the hype they've built up? It just doesn't make sense. Some people are even speculating that this might be a strategic move to manage expectations or something. I don't know about you, but I'm starting to feel a bit skeptical. OpenEye has been the leader in the AI game for so long, and a lot of people are looking to them to push the boundaries of what's possible. But if Strawberry turns out to be underwhelming, it could seriously dampen the enthusiasm surrounding AI development. I mean, we're all waiting for that next big leap, that mind-blowing breakthrough. And if OpenEye can't deliver, it might make people wonder if we've hit a plateau. Now, some people are saying it's all a PR stunt, or maybe they're just trying to stay ahead of the competition. But honestly, it just doesn't make sense. OpenEye has a reputation to uphold, and releasing a mediocre product like this could seriously damage it. Plus, people have been waiting for something truly groundbreaking, not just a slightly better version of what we already have. Look, I'm not saying Strawberry is going to be a complete flop. It might still be a useful tool for certain tasks, especially those that require complex reasoning and planning. But if it doesn't live up to the hype, it could have a ripple effect on the entire AI industry. Investors might become hesitant. Researchers might lose motivation and the general public might start to question the potential of AI. So yeah, there's a lot riding on Strawberry's success. OpenEye needs to prove that they're still at the forefront of AI innovation. Otherwise, they risk losing their crown to other players in the field. And let's be honest, there's no shortage of competition out there. I guess we'll just have to wait and see what Strawberry is really capable of. Maybe it'll surprise us all and blow our minds. Or maybe it'll be a bit of a letdown. Either way, the next few weeks are going to be interesting, that's for sure. So... Yeah, the whole thing is pretty confusing. I mean, I'm still excited to try Strawberry for myself, but I'm not getting my hopes up too high. Hopefully, OpenEye has something else up its sleeve, because if this is the best they can do, then the AI hype train might be slowing down. But hey, I'm keeping my fingers crossed that OpenEye has something truly groundbreaking up their sleeve, because let's face it, we need that next big AI breakthrough to keep the momentum going. We need to see that the future of AI is bright and full of possibilities. And who knows, maybe Strawberry is just the first step towards that future. But for now, I'm going to remain cautiously optimistic and see what happens. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Are you still excited about Strawberry? Or are you feeling a bit let down? And what do you think this means for the future of AI? Let's chat!